find integral sin inverse of root x minus cos inverse of root x whole divided by sin inverse of root x plus cos inverse of root x dx where x belongs to 0 comma 1. So here we have to find the value of integral. Integral of sin inverse of root x minus cos inverse of root x divided by sin inverse of root x plus cos inverse of root x dx. In order to find the value of this integral, at first consider a property of inverse function that is sin inverse a plus cos inverse a equal to pi by 2. Using this property, we are rewriting the denominator as pi by 2. So, our integral get reduced like this. In the next step, we are taking pi by 2 as 2 pi pi. Then, again we are applying this property that is cos inverse x, that, that is cos inverse of root x equal to pi pi 2 minus sin inverse of root x. Okay. Now, on taking negative inside, we will get sin inverse of root x minus pi by 2 minus of minus sin inverse of root x, that is 2 sin inverse of root x that is minus of minus will become plus sin inverse of root x plus sin inverse of root x will give 2 sin inverse of root x minus pi by 2 into dx. Okay. Then in the next step we have to find the integral of this. Now we are taking 2 by pi inside then inside of the bracket then we will get 2 by pi into integral of 2 sin inverse of root x dx minus 2 by pi into integral of pi by 2 dx. Okay. Now, here we can note that 2 by pi and pi by 2, we can cancel 2's, we can cancel pi's, then what we will get? Integral dx. Okay. That is, we get 2 by pi into integral of 2 sin inverse of root x dx minus 2 by pi into pi by 2 into integral of 1 dx. On cancelling this, we will get here 1 itself. Then what is this integral of 1 dx? That is x. Now this 2 and this 2 becomes 4 by pi. So we get 4 by pi into sin inverse of root x dx minus x plus c. Okay, so we get this part. Next, we have to find what is the value of sin inverse of root x dx. Okay, in order to find the value of sin inverse of root x, we are going to use the substitution method. That is, we are putting x equal to sin square t in order to get, since this function is not in an integrable form, that is sin inverse of root x, in order to make this function into an integrable form, we are putting x equal to sin square t. On differentiating with respect to x, we will get dx by dx which is 1 into sin square t, d by dx of sin square t. That is implicit differentiation then d by dx of sin square t is what is derivative of sin square t that is 2 sin t into derivative of sin t that is cos t into dt by dx. Since the variable of differentiation is x, we have to provide here dt by dx. Now dx equal to what is 2 sin t cos t that is sin 2t into dt. Okay. So we get x and so we get x and dx here. Now on substituting this, we can find the value of sin inverse of root x dx. Okay. Now what is x that is sin square t? Then root x will give sin t. Now dx is sin 2t dt. Sin inverse of sin t will give, that is sin inverse of sin will give t into sin 2t dt. So, this function is in the form of 
an integrable function. So we are going to use here integration by parts. That is, we are taking first function as u and the second function as v. Then minus, sorry, t into integral of sine 2t, that is cos 2t. What is integral of sine 2t? Minus cos 2t by 2 minus of derivative of t, that is derivative of t is 1 into integral of sine 2t dt. What is integral of sine 2t? That is cos 2t by 2, that is minus cos 2t by 2 into dt. Okay, so what is the formula we have used here? That is u into integral of v, that is integral of sine 2t, that is cos 2t by 2 minus of integral of derivative of t that is 1 into integral of sin 2t that is again minus cos 2t by 2. This minus and this minus will become plus. Okay, then what will remain here? Minus of integral of sorry minus of t into cos 2t by 2 now what is integral of cos 2t that is sin 2t by 2 that is sin 2t by 4 plus c okay that is here we have a plus here now next step we got the answer of what is integral of sin inverse of root x here Next, we have to find what is the value of t in terms of x in order to get the final result. Okay, so sin t equal to root x, then that is sin square t equal to x, then sin t is square root of x, that is sin t equal to root x, which implies t equal to sin inverse of root x. Next, what we have to find cos 2t and sin 2t. Now, what is cos t? That is square root of 1 minus sin square t. That is square root of 1 minus root x square that is x. Now, what is sin 2t? 2 sin t cos t. Now, sin t is sin inverse of root x. Cos t is Sorry, sin t is root x, cos t is root of 1 minus x. So, we get 2 into square root of x into 1 minus x here. Then, what about cos 2t? 1 minus sin square t. That is, sin square t is x. Then, 1 minus sin square t will give 1 minus 2x. So, we get the value of t in terms of x for t cos 2t sin 2t etc. Next step we have to provide these values that is here what is t sin inverse of root x into what is cos 2t 1 minus 2x divided by 2 plus what is sin 2t that is 2 into x into 2 into square root of x into 1 minus x whole divided by 4. Okay. Next step we can cancel these 4 and 2. We will get 2 here. So we get the value of sin root x dx here. Next we are providing these values here that is 4 by pi into sin root x dx. What is sin root x? That is minus sin inverse of root x into 1 minus 2x whole divided by 2 minus on cancelling sorry plus on cancelling 2 and 4 we will get 2 here that is square root of x into 1 minus x minus x plus c. Okay. Then we can take 4 we can cancel this 4 and 2's here since 
2 is common in both this term, then we will get here 2 by pi. So, what is our final result? 2 by pi into sine inverse of root x into 2x minus 1 plus square root of that x minus x square that is on multiplying x and 1 minus l we will get x minus x square minus x plus c this is our final result here okay So, what we have done so far, we provide the properties of inverse trigonometry function. After that, we substitute root x equal to, sorry, x equal to sin square t. Then we get the value in terms of t. Again, we substitute x instead of t in order to get the final result, okay?